I would actually like to do is to have us jump back in time a little bit to when you were all eating breakfast and talk about what your guys' next plan is going to be in character. That's the wrong thing. Uh, oh, sorry. Are you are you recording, Jamie? Uh, I am. Okay. Uh, so basically, this was when just after you had found Quinn, you were sitting at the uh, picnic bench eating breakfast, mm. uh, talking about how much you guys all fucking hate Hector. Fuck that guy. Who? Hector. Now, Alicia, I know you. I know we just talked about this. <laughs> Hector, Hector, was... Hector, Hector. That's the my... that's the that's the Red Rider guy, right? Yes. And my he grandpa's friend. He's the one who started the Red Rider. Friend. Oh, oh, oh. My grandpa's oh. special friend. He's he's the guy that left all the letters. Yes. I give y'all such easy fucking names to remember, Chris. Remember when we it's... changed? Wow. Name? Wow. It's almost as if I'm old or something. You can't blame everything on the fact that you have. Yes, to I can. You, no, you, can. you give us you things like Copernicus, blame. but then you can't mm -hmm. fucking remember like Hector. This. You also can't be like, oh, you guys bully me for being like being old all the time when you hey, literally hey, use hey, it. Hey, I've as long excuse. thrown that away. I have long thrown that away. All right, yeah, I have stopped complaining. I have I have embraced it. Oh, Get off my you... lawn. <laughs> <laughs> all right, but. You guys are complaining about how much you hated Hector. You didn't you, even leave me a letter. You were eating breakfast with Nick, who was just kind of there, enjoying the yeah. food. Uh, and I think that might be a good time if you guys want to talk in character about what your plan is going to be. Well, first of all, I would inform everybody that we need to go to. Has that happened Tarot? yet? Oh, you're right. That's after. That's after. How about oh. instead, if you want, we can do this when Quinn wakes up. Just so we're all caught yeah. up on everything. Mm -hmm. And you Looking guys can out. inform each other of other fun things. So let's instead fast forward to, uh, let's say dinner time. Okay, that that works. I was and... coming home anyways. Yep. Uh, don't forget Nadine and Jack did say he was going to take you out tonight. Yes, I, I planned on I planned on like coming back to um change. Mm -hmm. I'll text him and, and ask like what what's gonna be the um what's the like uh the the, the dress occasion so I can of course messages, prepare myself. He messages back to look in your room. Look in my what? Your room. Oh, look at my room. Okay, cool. It's All Quinn. Right, I'll get He's there. Look, it's <laughs> Quinn. <laughs> I'm gonna wear Quinn. I mean, just scan him and wear him. It's fine. I mean, I've, I I've, we've done weirder skin. things at this point. There probably wouldn't be enough skin, but there would be enough skin to cover her, you know, vitals. Um, <laughs> cover horrible. my vitals. A quinquini, if you will. A quinquini. All right, please I'll write think, that one down. I don't think titties <laughs> and the vag are vitals, but okay. Those are more uh, like just I, I, I might be if you don't want to be a You would disagree. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. I couldn't think of the word for that in that um, grammatical context. I'm bad at this. I'm I'm it's good fine. with quinquini. <laughs> That's a beautiful, a horrifically beautiful image. I don't know if it's beautiful, but it is. Honestly, an image. I, it's still not. It's still not the worst thing that has happened in this campaign so far. Oh, definitely not. <laughs> not by far. That's 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 awful. <laughs> that's awful. <laughs> Bad news. Uh, we do you play horrid things. We're going to meet up with the group. Uh, I would have, because okay. I gotta, I gotta get, I gotta get ready. You find a package sitting on your bed. Okay. Uh, it looks like it was mailed there. Like, mailed okay. to you guys and someone left it there. Opening. Alright, you open it. Uh, inside is a very, very flattering uh, pure white dress. Damn, you're, you're getting, getting married. married. <laughs> it's not a wedding dress, <laughs> but it is a very nice dress. Is it symmetric? It is. It's perfect. Mm-hmm. 
I love it. Uh, it also aware. has a pair of, well, I'm sorry, not a pair. It has, no, actually you have a fake foot now. So mm -hmm. it does come with a pair of uh, white heels. Not very high heels, just a little. Mm -hmm. Nathania's staring at it, looking at it, and she's just like, she's blinks slowly. Then like looks in the rest of the box. Uh, you find a little card which is not from Jack. It's from the company. Mm -hmm. uh, just it's like a business card, and then it mentions uh, that the dress is enchanted. It cannot get dirty. Nice. I'm actually in shock because this is the best gift anyone has ever i think nadine has actually ever gotten from like <laughs> anything that means you can't use it during like the festival that we start the game with. Rip pencil no case. it means exactly i can use it during the festival ah, i see because because again nadine does not want to you know can anything dirty? Yeah, she made sure nothing got on that dress. I yep. remember. Yeah. Quinn was extra lucky. He got yep. super covered. Mm -hmm. I had bad luck for the year. And mo oh boy, man! <laughs> yeah, you're, uh, you're did, certainly uh, living up to that. <laughs> Do you have any regrets of your choice? No, none. Not a one. Met Jack with my bad luck. That is true. Got, got my, got, 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 at, at least we got my brother and my dad out of a bad situation. I don't know about my mom yet. We're going to work on it. I mean, your dad did talk to you about that, if you remember. Yeah, she, she, that, that he was, she was going away. I wanted to see her before, you know. Yeah, she, your dad would have said it's going to take at least a couple days to get everything situated. Mm -hmm. Because they are going to have to, you know, go through the proper channels to divorce. Mm -hmm. Which means Lou? Uh, that is uh, a good so question. Do do my do my parents have a religion? Uh, yes, we did talk about that. Your mother is Lou. Your dad is is. Okay, okay. I thought we had, but like. I couldn't remember what my mom was. I was pretty sure dad was uh, Istis, though. Mm -hmm. Which honestly makes more and more sense and makes me even sadder that it didn't work out. Between your parents? Mm -hmm. You know what this means. Alex, you know what this means. What? We can get our parents together. I don't know if that's actually a good idea for your dad. It's, it's probably it's probably not. But it is it is an idea. We could do it. It is a thing that could be attempted. Anyways, yeah, I'll I'll love the dress and everything, and then gripe about how there's not a purse. Uh, to be fair, you were given a shit ton of purses. Yes, and I know. I I know. I'm going through the box of like the jewelry and everything. And then I come to dinner, you know, in full also, you know, whatever. This is kind of what I was thinking of for the dress. It's not sure a wedding we're not dress. Married? <laughs> it's not it's not know, supposed know, to be a wedding I know, dress. It's I know. the closest I could come to what it was looking like. I know. Hashtag not a wedding dress. <laughs> <laughs> All Hashtag right, uh, not getting married yet. <laughs> Wink. Just because you could fool I mean, off. You get those nice, you know, nice tap. It was, it was like... <laughs> hey, and you did day, get plus, like yeah, plus two AC. You I mean, never know when that's going to come in handy. Yeah. And then we, and then we have to get a divorce the next day, and then get marry again, and do that every yeah. day for the rest of forever. <laughs> <laughs> I'm right. pretty sure it stipulates you can't redo it, but maybe I'm misremembering. It does not. I think so. 
Where did I get that? Hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, Anyway, uh, everyone, you see Nadinia come in in uh, this absolutely gorgeous dress. Uh, Maple, you already got the message that we had talked about. Uh, Maurice is cooking right now. Um, he's probably not doing, excuse me, anything too fancy. Um, I'd say probably something like a shepherd's pie. Ooh. Uh, but you guys are all together in the kitchen. Uh, and you are free to, uh, to kind of talk. So who's your new friend? Looking at Penny behind Nadina. Oh yeah. <laughs> she did not go in your room, but she stood immediately outside of it. I uh introduce Penny. I let her, you know. Take a step forward and I say, uh, do you remember how I got this new leg? Yeah. Well, I gotta... We gotta go to Taros soon? Is it Taros? Yeah. Yeah, it was Taros. Okay. Because, well... I gotta pay off this leg. You didn't pay for it already? Oh, by the way, her name is Polly, not Penny. Penny? Polly, got it. Polly, I was close. I was confused, like... Deep, yeah. fucking you said Penny, and I'm like, Penny is a name I use a lot. I better it is. double check. <laughs> um, <laughs> technically, I was supposed to, but then the whole we had to leave situation because of the the children. Yes, was it Ms. there? Yeah, it was. It was an echo. That's right. It was an echo. Miss Weather skipped out on her bill to Lord Nemos. I did not skip. I am here to ensure that she follows through on the payment. I did not skip. I postponed. Uh, There's no postponing on payments. He skipped out on it. Postponed without notice. Or agreement. See? I feel like she was being sarcastic. I am not programmed for sarcasm. And yet you're succeeding anyway. Kudos. You guys have to all... You all guys have to make this... Make me sound the worst possible. I didn't forget. There was just a lot happening. A lot more important things happening. Hopefully we can take care of it when we go to Taros. Not a hopefully. We are going to. Well, I'm going to. It doesn't concern you guys, but would appreciate it if we left sooner rather than later. Yeah, I mean, weren't we going to go there anyway after we got your sister a corpse? Who what now? Doesn't April want a child corpse from the island? What? Does she? Am I fucking crazy? As, as a refresher, uh, <laughs> one of the things that you guys uh, had talked about doing is April and uh, your Aunt Maple yeah. said that in order to kind of study how to get the vines out of the children, uh-huh. it would oh. help if they had a subject they could <clears throat> study and try to work on. Uh, and the best plan that you guys thought of was to choose one of the undead ones because I mean they're already undead and at least the vines will be similar enough that you can they can study it safely instead of doing it on a child that could cause damage. Well where do we go to get that? Uh, You guys never cleared them off of the island. 
oh. that you went to the party. Oh, yeah, that was yeah. so fucking long ago. Holy shit. Yeah, plus, like, in my letter, Hector said, you like, don't remove it. Like, it's going to cause more damage. LOL, it's fine. Don't worry about it. I'm great. So, well, then like, we I should definitely have them check on a dead subject yep. to yeah, that's prove true. it. Yeah. We, we should take everything he has uh, told us. With a grain of salt, and we're still gonna oh, try to salt. Oh, I'm it, taking but... a heaping tablespoon of salt, my friend. Never mm. fear. Swallow the salt hole. <laughs> Swallow the salt hole. Yeah, uh, if mm, there's one salt. thing that uh, that Iris is, it's salty. Hey. <laughs> salt free? Nah, salt filled. Okay, so uh, I also informed the party. Uh, well, don't need to worry about my mom and dad anymore. They are resolving the conflict. And uh, they will be separated soon. So there's that. Uh, oh, um, um, um how do you feel? How are you doing? Honestly, I don't know. I'm happy they're both doing what they feel that they have to and what is best for everybody but I mean don't really know how to I mean my mom was always you know a bit mean spirited She's trying to find the right word without, like, <laughs> insulting her mother. Saying she's a bitch? Yeah. But... I don't... They were the only family I knew for a while, and... When I got a new one, they all, well, you know. I'm not saying you guys haven't been a good family, just not, um. I feel like an urchin or an orphan or something. Can I just give Nadine a big hug to shut this fucker up? Like, I love you. <laughs> it's fine. We all love you. And it's just like raising an eyebrow. <laughs> like... She's she she honestly looks extremely confused. Okay. She doesn't like she doesn't know how to like process this emotion. Uh, we've been through a lot, and you I, I can't speak for everyone, but we love you, and it's okay, and you're going to get through this. It it it's it'll be fine. No, hug me back or I will cry. It's true, she will. It's her, like, go-to tactic to get hugs. <laughs> she, 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 she thinks about it for a second and then point, then kind of, like, gestures to her dress. It actually stays clean. And then Iris she hugs. To cry, slowly. <laughs> you're you're saying your Iris state. is dirty? Yeah, what the fuck, man? No, I just imagine Iris does ugly crying. Not at first. There, it comes in. There's like the pity tear, and then like the the silent crying, and then the ugly. There's a there's a process. Ah, she works it's a her way up. up. Yeah, <laughs> she escalates her her tears. Got it. Well, yeah, you really gotta lay it in. All right, That's I really hug her for her. less than for 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 I I I put off hugging her for almost ten seconds. Oh, we've reached phase two of the of the tear zone. <laughs> You're a fucking monster. I appreciate it, Iris. I do. I just, I don't know. I, it's going to take me some time to process. And uh, finally, um, has anybody tried the bike yet? 
don't think so. No. I'm taking it by! <laughs> I don't think that's in Jack's plans, but okay, ruin your dress. How? You it stays the... clean. Yeah, but you can catch in the tire and rip. Clean is not rip proof. <sighs> Bikes are very nasty against dresses, especially long ones. Why 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 are you all doing this? I don't don't you don't you want me to go in on my bike? Not your you know, bike. On our bike? Not particularly. We already just got this. Kinda... You don't get to fly it first. You already have a boat. <laughs> Fuck off. <laughs> she just tis. Enjoy your date. No, 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 no. I'm not leaving yet. I'm not leaving yet. I'm not leaving yet. I want to hear what all you have to... ...report, I guess. Uh, well, Raymond took the papers. He said he'll work on them, and he looks like he hasn't slept in, like, a week. So hopefully he doesn't... Like, we should collapse. give him some of that stuff. We should not give him no. some of that stuff. His husband is, looks like he might actually be a bit scary. I think you'd die. <laughs> uh, uh, Bellier has a shop in Terra, so we probably can find new stuff there, maybe. Neat. How much money do we have? Uh, 3,000 gold. And then you have your own individual money somewhere. I'm fucking broke. You went and spent the uh to get the griffin. Yeah, I did. You're fucking broke because you got the thing you wanted. Yeah. <laughs> uh, you also talked about with him possibly using the tapestries to go through. That too. Yes. Yeah, I mean, if we don't need the boat, we could take the tapestry. I still, we still need to test if I can use my teeth. Use your teeth for what? Payment? I don't really I, remember what you're trying to get paid. I don't think actually giving that thing a tooth is a good idea, but... Maple knows him better. He just eats them, right? Yeah, I would give other people's teeth, but not your own. I just need to. Know, I just want to know if it grows back. I mean, you can lose a tooth without giving it to him. Those aren't interconnected. We have plenty of gold now. I don't think uh, we need to resort to selling our teeth. I suppose. Anything else, Maple? Here. No. And what are you planning on doing for the for the time being? Uh, I'm probably going to be training since I haven't really had the time to do so. Past few days. Oh. All right. Relax for you the need evening. To, you need a sparring, buddy. You know. Enjoy your date. Oh right. There was also one thing I wanted to talk to you about, Maple. Uh did hmm. you want to go back to the to the ring, maybe? Maybe not now or Yeah, maybe not soon. now, but uh, maybe after we get back from Terrace? Yeah. I kinda wanna do another charity event. For who? Like Sh just shrugs. <laughs> Okay, I can ask is this. Yeah. Okay, so sounds fun. Yeah. Uh all if you're done, Kira. Um Well, uh I'm gonna be keeping up my divinations trying to to find out what's really happening, but it's a slow and kind of frustrating process. Anything any of us can help with? I don't believe so.
Have you tried asking Istis? He's very busy. And I have before. It's... Well, a lot to handle, apparently, so... I'll do what I can, and she'll do what she can. Alright. Quinn? Well, I restook my necklace, so I don't have that anymore, and I feel like shit. Yeah, uh, you look like shit. Yep. Don't get any uh, of your shit on my dress. If I start, like, literally rotting to the point of falling apart, I think we've got a problem. Um, my brother apparently can show me things now, or has chosen to while I sleep. I don't know. Okay, hmm. okay. We, You still need to find that thread that you took. I... I don't think it works quite like that. Yeah, we have to figure out where the fuck that thread went. Yes. But yes. I can try to do, well, Practice. try to solve all of those problems. Yeah. Not solve, That's... but start a lead at least. Exactly. Yeah, if you, if you find anything, let us know. Of course. And I go to the records place. I want to know what his name is. It seems shitty to not call him that. He's like looking over in the corner. <laughs> oh yeah, he's he's standing there chilling. No one else can see anything. <laughs> <laughs> As he boy. looks over in the corner, I'll just kind of look over and I'm like, is he, is he there? Yeah, like Maple like turns yeah. around, looks in the corner, looks back at Quinn, follows his exact eye line looks there mm -hmm. and just gives him a thumbs up. I, I mean, I, I know you can't see him. I'm, he... I'm giving the shadow dude a thumbs up. Ah. Uh, it can't, it doesn't respond. Okay. Is, is it, he... is it waving? No, I, I, I don't think he knows how. It's so, like, this is the, the kid that got thrown off the island, right? Yeah, he was, like, a baby when he died. And is he, like, fucking... a full-grown adult now? Or is he, like, still, like, super uh, tiny? He... Well, no, he's big. He... <laughs> <laughs> so, like, I wonder if he's, like, mentally a baby? Or did he, like, grow... Uh, he... Just a reminder, this is what it looks like? <laughs> um, he... <laughs> he has an eye. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> but uh not much else i'm gonna go over to the corner and i'm gonna just like I mean... he he tried to make a thumbs up the other day but it, it didn't seem to work so I'm gonna, gonna try to poke the corner uh it moves away when uh nadinia tries to poke it yeah he doesn't like that wait wait maple go try to poke him hi right. don't harass him no 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 no. this is this is a test kind of look at him apologetically as they apparently try to corner him but i don't tell him where he is yeah. <laughs> I, I will say if you wanted to well oh wait you don't have an illusion thing do you mm. i was gonna say you could like make an illusion just to show what he looks like but i don't think i do i quinn has occasionally been a reasonable artist i could try to sketch him you, you can try it. That's a sleight of hand. But yeah. I, oh, I, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> he he does it exactly like that picture. And who boy, is it creepy. Huh. Wait, this thing watches you? Yeah. We chill. <laughs> it's also uh, very, very tall. That was the other thing. Taller than Virginia? Sure. It, it's, it's seven feet tall. So no, but he could be. <laughs> no, he's taller than me. Oh, is he? Yeah, yeah barely. Like two inches. Yeah. 
So, so again, Maple, try to poke him. Okay, I guess I'll go into the corner and just, like, not poke, but I'm just gonna try to, like, put a hand or, like, a few fingertips in his direction. Um, roll me a sleight of hand with disadvantage. Put your fingers off. Yeah. That's a one. Okay. Holy a shit! I forgot you got those goddamn gloves. Mm -hmm. The gloves were poking. And I'm proficient in it. Uh, I, I guess there was no point in making you... Roll. Um, <laughs> roll. So you reach your hand out to touch him, and Quinn... Uh, you see he's, like, trying to back up, but Nadinia's there, and when her fingertips... When it looks just like it would touch him, he dissipates into seawater, and that immediately dries up. Okay, well now he's just gone. So. Oh. So 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 question question question. Was it getting too close to Nadinia that made him disappear, or was it Maple trying to touch him made him disappear? Uh, Maple trying to touch him because he made sure he didn't get too close to you. Okay. So it's just people in general, not you. Yeah, yeah, that, that's what, that was my experiment. Because, yeah. like, I was wondering if it was because, specifically because of me and my connection? Or is it just people in general? Uh, any, way to, but... any, any way to make sure that that's, like, not a thing? I'm not sure how to suggest for you to test it. He has never been close to anyone that I have seen, and I've seen him okay. anytime I have my necklace off. He's gotten close to people, but he's never touched. That's fair. He like kill him? I hope not. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's over, guys! We fixed it! Well, he didn't fucking meet the shit. Fuck. He's not... He wasn't harmful, so I really... Yeah, fucking... Yeah. God damn it. I, I was just wondering if it was because of, you know, if he was avoiding me because that might give us a clue as to what's going on. Because... And, Quinn, I don't know if I told you yet, Michael doesn't like you. I I mean I, I know that. <laughs> but like to the, reason... point where, to the point where I think he's trying to like take over. Uh take over. I mean he did want to kill me last time I talked to him. And and he like propositioned me for me to kill you. Which, of course, you know, I proceeded to stab him in the face because, you know. No, you should have said yes. We could have, like, put on this big old play for him. <laughs> the murder. Hey, Quinn, I'm gonna murder, not murder you. Act like you murdered. Oh, God, I'm dead. <laughs> 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 it's not as fun if he's not here <laughs> I feel like Quinn though was like the kid who when he was in uh, he had to do like a school play or something he was the kid that had to die and then he went all out where he's like pulling out ribbons as entrails and like, <laughs> uh, on the crowd like it's blood <laughs> I forget I what that from. I can't remember. There was a there was a there was a movie about that. Shit. It's, it's the, been used the... in a couple things. It was used in the Adams family. Uh it was used in uh ah shit. Zootopia. They did that in Zootopia. That's what it was. Zootopia. That's what it was. He can be probably blood, dramatic blood, if he blood. wants to. <laughs> That's what it was. 
Anyway, you just told Quinn that uh, Michael uh, propositioned you to do some killing. Yeah, that's not actually great. That's shitty. Uh, but kind of is what it is, I guess. Do you remember, Chris, what he offered you? Uh, yes. Yes, I do. Okay. I just wanted to be sure that you remembered. He offered to make me... Well, me again. I don't think that's something he can actually do. That wasn't exactly what he offered. What was it? I'm sorry. Maybe I misinterpreted. Okay. He offered... Well, you kind of didn't let him fully say. Yeah, I kind of just stabbed him in the face. Uh... Given what he was able to tell you, what it sounded like is he was at least offering to not oh. have the Yellow King control you. Yes, release me from the Yellow King's control. That's what it was. Yeah. That I would believe he's more capable of doing, but... Well, one... While the Yellow King may have some hold on me... I am still Isis's chosen. Yes, and I'm also not sure that uh, being Michael's control is better than being in the Yellow Kings. Is that what he was offering? Fuck that guy. I you mean, didn't probably. let him say. <laughs> You're just like, no, 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 no. Stab him. That's what Nadine said. That, that's what Nadine says. No, I know. I'm just. <laughs> <laughs> like Nadine is just like, is that what he was offering? Fuck that. No, no, I no. And two, I mean, you guys have already uh, uh, we've already talked about this before. But if something happens to me, you guys will take care of me one way or another, right? Right? Y yes. I'm sorry, I was muted. Uh, <laughs> I... Maple. She has like her lips lips pressed, but she gives like a nod. Iris S -s stepped into the other room because Iris had to fold laundry for a hot second and is a bad D and D player. Please restate the question. Will we if... kill Medina if she becomes a bitch? I didn't oh, say him. that. I didn't say that. I did not say that. <laughs> If Nadinia gets taken over by the Yellow King, will we kill her if we need to? I did not say that. It's what you implied. You you said. I said take care of me. Yeah, take care. One of way me. or another. Exactly, which means if we have to kill you, we would. I. We don't kill you. Like last resort, like nothing else to do, and you're about to like either kill one of us, aka or hurt Quinn, somebody. or someone I... else. I. I feel comfortable living in the take care of space and keeping it pretty vague because I, I don't want to kill you, but you know, um we'll 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 reassess that statement when we get there, right? I don't I don't think we'll let you get that far. Oh, I, I take care of I, I you know, take you out to dinner, tuck you in when you have a cold, that kind of shit. <laughs> Kira. I'm sorry. Jesus. No, sorry. I, I spaced out for a moment. Will you take care of me if the yellow, if the king in yellow makes me do something that we all don't want to happen? Is this something you're genuinely concerned about? Us not doing? Of course. Okay, I feel it feels weird that Quinn and Kira are easy are like both easily the ones that are just like yeah, snap her neck. They didn't say that. That's not what I, I know. I know. I, I know. I mean, I feel like that's pretty on par with Quinn. Yes, uh, we gotta take care of shit. 
No, 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 no. I, it feels weird that that Quinn and Kira like are aligned in that manner. I would think. You know what? No, no. It makes perfect sense. It makes perfect sense. You guys are right. I couldn't see Maple doing it, and I couldn't see Iris doing it. Yeah, like, I, like here's the thing. Here's the here's the thing. Like, option one, death. Option two, you live in a test tube, like the scoom in Persler's office, which also isn't great. So, like, I do like it. It's bad either way, right? Mm -hmm. But I think you can be more assured that we will do everything in our power to make sure it never gets there. Well then, and I never doubted you guys for a second. So there it is. There it is. All right. I think Iris, you're the only one who needs to do an update before uh, Nadinia runs off to go on a date. Uh, I, I'm, I'm good. Any big revelations, plans for the next couple days? Oh, I mean, uh, we already talked about the letter. Hector's a piece of shit. Yep, we, we've been there. I'm just trying to help uh, uh, Istis with the big basketball thing, but um, she doesn't want me on the loom, so we'll, we'll see how that works out. If she doesn't want you on the loom, I'm sure she has her reasons. Yeah, That's but... Her whole I... thing. I know, but it, but you you saw how big that shit was, right? Like that's bigger than my head at this point. So, I I'm going to try. Um, and if not, then um, I don't know. I'll just stress bake for two days. I'd, I'd whatever. You know what? Let's go see Estes. I'm gonna hook an arm. Uh, around uh, Iris's. Uh, but Maple don't, is don't, rubbing don't you, don't her temples. To, to go? Maple is rubbing her temples <laughs> and starting to like. Wait, what did you say, Nadinia? I said, let's go see Istis. And then, like, hooks an arm around Iris's arm. Like, buddy, buddy, side to side, you know. We're going to go see Istis. Okay. Go for it. But, but you you have a date. You can't. Uh, I'll I'll be fine. Maple, it's fine. Maybe pulls out her phone and is starting to text someone. Uh, but I. It, it... And uh, as we get to the door, I'm gonna stand in front of it and I'm gonna look over at Iris and I'm gonna say, "So, lesson one: when you want to be assertive." <laughs> kick oh, down dear. doors I want you to kick down that door absolutely not are you really kidding I can just I have I have thaumaturgy I can just and I do thaumaturgy the door swings open gently because I'm not a monster <laughs> if you could thaumaturgy yeah, a door softly I did, it. <laughs> I, I, I did it wow look it's open! Wow! I mean, that's wow. cool, but that's not assertive! I, I feel like you're confusing... You're, you're conflating being assertive and being a, an asshole. People have privacy! Bombastic, maybe? Yes! The disembodied voice of Kira. That's a great word. <laughs> I picture the Kira just followed. <laughs> <laughs> I thought we were all there. So. I mean... Quinn doesn't go, but no. I also could Wait, see... Where did they go? They went to go uh, just see to the, Just to okay, the... So okay, so they're, they're the next. Sorry. Yeah, I thought they were Lesson still two. in the room. <laughs> Lesson two. And this, is, this is very, very important. This is something I learned on very, very early. Is this is a goddess. Yes. That, that, yeah. C congrats. But she's a goddess with emotion and and humanity and self-respect and respect for others and everything like that um you know i can hear all of you oh. you open the door and you're standing right right there you're just trying to get it <laughs> Shh. 
Oh dear God. Can I? Can we so, just go in the door? This is very awkward now. No, no, no! You're going through the door. I have a date. I think you forgot this. I, then, then go. <laughs> what was the point of this? I Less can open two, the door. If you're going to talk to someone, don't. If you're going to talk to Istis, talk to her. Like you're a grown woman talking to a grown woman, and I point up at the very large lady. I assume. <laughs> Yeah, she's looking at you guys like really confused. <laughs> I feel like and she's like, Iris is "Are you so confused are you to talk to me?" And I, I'll nod, nod, and uh, let the scoot Iris into the door, and then close it behind. Uh, just to let you know, Nadinia, uh, Polly has been following you the whole time. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And I close the door, and I look at Polly, and I say, You didn't see any of that. And then walk away. She continues to follow you. You are not programmed, or... I am not programmed to take commands from you. It was a figure of speech, Polly. It shouldn't be. <laughs> that That's very bad. And figures of speeches. That was also. <sighs> okay. I can't tell what's worse the fact that you're like just this soulless, mindless thing, or the fact that I sympathize that you're a soulless, mindless thing. I do have And I want to and I want to help. Oh god, I'm the worst pirate ever. Did you hear her? No. She, she said I do have a soul. Wait, what? Where's the mind then? Where's the independence? Where's the freedom? Ah, uh, I see. You are mistaken. I am powered by a Oh. What the fuck? <laughs> um, Questions well. for later. <laughs> <laughs> All right, real quick. Uh, let's jump to Iris. Uh, you were just thrown into Istis's room and closed. And Istis is very concerned because she thinks you're scared to talk to her. No, 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 no. Okay, so Nadinia thinks that because apparently I, I, maybe she forgot that I've known you like a whole year before she even got here. Um, I do know how to talk to you. I'm very comfortable talking to you, and it's fine. And I really don't like knocking down doors because I know it'll give Maurice a heart attack if there's splinters everywhere. So, um, hi, how are you? So sorry you had to witness all of that. Oh, it's okay. I'm, I'm quite fine. But that's good. Um, so I was thinking, vis a vis our conversation earlier, when I freaked out when Quinn was missing, he's back. I'm sure you know all that. Um, I think you could use some help with the loom before we. Ah, oh, beans. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> rip a rip a <laughs> Big rip. Man, who's ready for secondhand embarrassment? This bitch right here. Fuck. Uh, it just has the smile on her face, but you you can't really tell what like she looks sad, but she's smiling, and you're not entirely sure what the juxtaposition's all about. Cool, cool and neat. Great, great and cool. Is it those things? Nope. 
because because I, now I, I I don't disbelieve you, but if what you think is true, that's all the more reason why I should be helping because then with our powers combined, something something friendship, something something chosen, fate, etc, we might be able to get that down to something more manageable because I, things quite obviously are, are fucked and they're getting worse, especially since we're going to be leaving soon and Quinn can can see through a, a, a creepy thing. It, it's it's really bad, obviously. And without us here, there's less people to help. So just, I, I've been feeling useless, and I just at, just at least let me help buy us some time, buy the, the loom some time, buy buy all of us a little time, please. So Iris, this entire time, Istis hasn't fully turned around to see you. She's only, like, turned halfway. So, like, you're seeing a profile version of her. I'm suddenly very nervous, but okay, do continue. And she she still looks the same. She's got this very sad smile as she looks to you and she says, I am very sorry, Iris. I don't think I can let you on the loom anymore. Um, she is. She just kind of sighs, I think, and just looks very crestfallen. Um. Okay, then can I? Do you want me to get someone else to help you? Can I at least run an errand for you or something? Do you do you want some cookies? Do you want uh, some tea? Um, Iris, you know I can't really eat or drink. I know, but it's it's that. <sighs> I, I just want to help. Iris. Uh, roll me a persuasion real quick. Oh, no. But I'm bad at things. That's all bad all around. Iris, can you please come come over here and can you please just tell me a story? Um yeah, sure. And and she will take take a seat and you, when you get close and you almost sit down, she turns more towards you. No oh, no. And you see with absolute horror she is tangled but not in the same way that she was before you see strands almost like her body was made up of them pulled loose and tangled up into the loom what the fuck running down half of her face and body. And she looks to you, Iris, and she says, Iris, I'm very scared. <laughs> you can't do that to Yarn Mom! You can't! <laughs> Fuck! 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 Fuck shit. Okay. 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 This is fine. 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 Cyrus or Martha? Yes. Yes. This is actually very. This is very important. Is this Iris or Marissa? I think this is me because I don't think. I think Iris is too. Because if I would be seeing this, I would not be able to form words at this moment in my life. Um, mm -hmm. So I think Iris would just be just like dumbstruck, just like beholding this uh, 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 tableau, shall we say, um, and just kind of be uh, staring in shock and horror, but like 
the, the, what I verbalized, I think, is just her thought process at this moment. Um, like, yeah, fuck, shit, fuck, I, fuck. Iris. Um, um, yeah, so, so, um. Iris, please, can you tell me a story? Sorry, you cut out. What was that? She said, Iris, Iris, can you please tell me a story? Um, she, she would, she would sit down, like, fully, very slowly. Um, so, so, what, what type of story would, would you like today? Um, a, a, a fairy, a fairy tale, a, a comedy, romance, um, what, 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 what are you in the mood for? Her normally very steady hands almost seem like they're having trouble grabbing the thread. Fuck. Uh, if you okay. answered her question, you didn't come through, Alicia. Iris, please. Okay, so so this this one um uh, it w was Nix's favorite. Um, it's a, it, it's a bit dark for uh someone her age, but that's fine. And um, so uh once upon a time, and she will launch into the story of fuck. Let me look at my bookshelf and look and see what books are on my bookshelf. And we will go with uh water for elephants because it's the first book that I my saw. Why was I cut out? I'm so sorry. <laughs> it, it, it cut out when you said this is Nix's favorite. Uh, this is this is Nix's favorite. It's it's it. W w when she first heard it, it was a bit um old for her, but you know that's okay. Uh, so um, uh, she will tell her the fantasy equivalent because it's the first book that I saw on my bookshelf. Um, Water for Ele Elephants. Uh, however, comma the first real book I saw on my bookshelf was Watership Down. That shit's way too fucking dark for this moment in life, <laughs> and I don't. <laughs> remember what water for elephants is about except that it was kind of sad but also fun fuck there's also world war z everything tony morrison is too dark yeah fuck. yeah let's do no oh, that no, one, it... world war z <laughs> no that's bad i don't want world war z i'm panicking i've forgotten every book that i've ever read in my entire fucking life in this moment right now <laughs> Fuck. Not One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest. Absolutely not. Nope. Not Slaughterhouse-Five. <laughs> this is all bad. This is all bad. Why am I looking at my grad school shelf? Fuck. Dante's Inferno. Also bad. <laughs> We're themed the stories you wouldn't tell us this. Yeah. Les Miserables. Also bad. <laughs> it's called The Miserable. <laughs> yeah. It's not It's not good. It's not good. It's not good. Um, um, what about um, the play that was an echo that we heard about? You know what? Yes, I tell. <laughs> tell her about no. no, no. Here's what it is. Here's what it is. Iris starts telling her <laughs> the plot of My Immortal, having not actually seen My Immortal, so it end up into actually coherent, good narrative. Um, <laughs> Wait, what does that sound this like? I have no idea. I can't my brain. <laughs> My brain see, does not compute that very it well. Is, How no, does it that? Is the equivalent. It is the equivalent of my real life PowerPoint presentation on the movie Jurassic Park, having never seen the movie Jurassic Park. It ends up being better than the original in many ways. <laughs> so nice. true to the original in many ways. It's a saga. There's 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 love. There's loss. There's friendship. There's subterfuge. There's... Dinosaurs. <laughs> Dinosaurs. Yeah, I tell. <laughs> Yeah. Um, no, wait. Me. Everyone shut up. Everyone shut up. I have a better one. I tell oh. if this <laughs> the story mm -hmm. of uh, your Gods Among Us campaign because that one had a good ending. Oh, that's that's cute. Yeah. Uh, your Gods Among Us or the first one? Oh shit. God. Mm, mm. God's Among Us because we did do a big whoopsie and a bunch of cool NPCs died in the first one and I want Leslie to live. So... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sure. You, you talk about this uh, 
this radio serial that you heard uh, called The Gods Among Us and just uh, talk about all these kind of wacky adventures and how somehow it got kind of deep at the end and uh, as a roll here what stat do you want to roll that well I would love and, and here, allow me to justify this I would like to roll medicine in the uh, argument that it is like a like a calming soothing like almost therapeutic like storytelling to like help yeah. like calm her down kind of a thing. Go for it. There we go. There we nice. fucking go. Uh, as you continue talking, you see her hands start to steady. She takes some deep breaths. Uh, and by the time you get towards the end, uh, you tell one of the ridiculous things that they did and she actually lets out like a, a small laugh. Oh, I'm going to cry. How fucking dare you? God damn it. How dare she tell a compelling and strong story? You monster. How could you? Uh -huh. Sorry, I'll stop. Sorry, guys. Can't, uh, campaign's no, over. No, I need to know. I need to know. I need to know. Keep on going. <laughs> uh, Isis is quiet for a moment once you're done, and she says, Val came in earlier and offered to switch with me give me a bit of a break when I tried to this is what happened okay um well hopefully this is just temporary um and 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 uh, until then until until we get this figured out um uh I, I I will I will lend Val and Maurice all of my novels so they can come in and read to you while we're away. Um, it, it won't be the same because uh, Val's reading voice she just kind of gets angry when she can't pronounce a word that's not on celestial sometimes and she kind of yells but it's fine. Um, so uh, that that way at, at least you'll have some some company and some some um, in, inspiration to help sort everything into a more uh, stable state it, how 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 does that does that sound okay that sounds wonderful thank you iris i'm i'm sorry for showing you my weakness i need to do better uh, what is wrong with you and I give this, I give you my yarn mom a really big hug. She and... tries to hug you back, but she can't. You know what? That's fine. I do the side hug, and I don't care, and it's all good. I like, I like, worm my way under her one arm, and it's fine. <laughs> and um, you're the bravest person I've ever met in my entire life, and you're facing this with the utmost courage and grace and you, if you start if you talk bad about yourself one more time i will i will start talking bad about myself and then it will be a horrible end of endless feedback loop of both of us getting mad at each other so let's just both agree that you're great and i'm great and we're all great and things are great she lets out a little laugh at that and she tries to hug you back as much as she can <laughs> okay fuck Deal. Now you're a warlock too. I'm kidding. It doesn't work Fuck that yeah. way. <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah. I mean, I I take it. <laughs> Everyone becomes a warlock eventually. Oops! All warlocks. <laughs> you either die or become the warlock you were meant it's to all be. All warlocks, all the way Beautiful. down.
You either die die the class you were born or live long enough <laughs> or... <laughs> to become a warlock. Uh, like the implication that you're born a class. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Some of us are born with class. Oh, fuck you. <laughs> uh, she she pulls away for a second and with her one good hand, she kind of reaches out and she brushes away some tears. And she she gives you a much more full smile. And she says, thank you. I really do appreciate it. Uh, but I think, and she kind of like pauses for a moment and she says, yes, I, I think you should go talk to Maple. Oh no. Oh fuck. Did I fuck up? Oh shit. No. Should I bring no, flowers? No, no. Flowers are good. Is she covers your mouth. <laughs> it's, it's not anything bad. Just go talk to Maple. Okay. She um, moves her hand. Um, uh, okay. Um, I will. And if, if you would like another story uh, before bedtime, I'll I'll be back. <laughs> oh goodness! I haven't had a bedtime story for. <laughs> I sure that sounds nice. All right. Great. And then I, I give her like a parting squeeze and then untangle myself and go find Mabel. Fuck Alicia, right. damn it, 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 damn it. Man, I'm upset. I was upset at 11 a.m. this fucking morning and I'm so upset now. It's ugh, just a circle of upset, 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 distress. Fuck. All right. Uh, Chris. Mm hmm. Are you ready for your date? No. Okay, good. Go in memory time. Bye. Oh. Yay. Bye. <laughs> oh. Cool. All right, Maple. So as soon as like Iris and Nadina leave the room, if she like sees that Queen is going to get food, and then she's like, "Okay, cool, you're staying," and she kind of turns to Kira and goes, "Okay, wait here until we get." Till Iris gets back to something we need to talk about. Okay. I. Who are you texting? Kind of looks to see if Nadine's anywhere nearby. Jack. What? Oh. Yeah. <laughs> she like starts like smiling like a really big smile because yeah. Oh, I don't know how she's gonna react, but it's gonna be funny to watch. Um. What? <laughs> Okay. Uh, all right. Anyone want anything while I'm up? As we, you know, wait fucking thirty minutes for I'm Iris sorry. to tell me. <laughs> oh, oh, there was a thing. Okay. No, I, it, and... it's okay. But eventually, Iris does come out. Mm. I'm imagining she looks a little bit shaken. A little bit, my dude. Had you, have you had a fucking egg white cocktail? You shake that bitch twice. This is the level of shaking that Iris is right now. <laughs> like, you fuck? shake that bitch twice. <laughs> I don't All know right. what an egg oh, white no, cocktail okay. is. That was a very funny thing you I said. Guess. Thank you. I just choked on air. It's fine. <laughs> what did you say? Talking about egg white cocktails. Fucking shake that bitch twice. Holy fuck. Okay. <laughs> All right, so it's a great title. So Iris looks like the worst cocktail in existence, and they're great co anyway. <laughs> Is everything you good? okay? Um, no, not at all. Um, Maple, hi. You needed something? Uh, uh yeah. Wait, look... Are you okay? Yeah. <laughs> Um, so, I mean, she didn't, she didn't, she didn't tell me not to tell people. Um, so, ev it's totally cool. Everyone stay calm. It's totally fine. It's not fine at all. Oh, my God. Um, Istis is sort of 
it's, it's becoming part of the loom, kind of, sort of, not really. There were threads coming from her face and she can't switch anymore, but she said it's fine, it's not fine, I don't know. This is like a new normal situation. Um, She's stuck in the loom again? Um, so, uh, 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 imagine that. Imagine the threads were coming out of her face and body and were just kind of disintegrating into the loom and it's 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 um it's fucked it's bad it's very bad it's... and oh <sighs> how can we help I, I i i just told her a story um i i think company might might help if um she can't switch there's not much we can do in all honesty you guys hear me no 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 near you now uh, Okay. My, I'm sorry, my Wi-Fi is just fucking kicking me off. No. No. Uh, Which is weird, because mine has been fine this whole evening. Yeah, that's weird. Of course, I, I am wired, technically. See if, see if you're on a 5G or... Two there we go away. again! Woo. There we go. Oh, no. Okay. Yeah, it's, it's real fucking bad right now. Oh, um, no. No, what I was saying is, it's like, Istis is unraveling, and tangled up in the loom. Hey, you did it! You said the title! Hey! I hate it. <laughs> I did not. I used the present tense of it. Oh, ominous. That's what's gonna happen. Hmm. Got it. I, I retract my yay. <clears throat> but yeah, I, I, I think just, just keeping her company and staying as positive as possible, given the circumstances, would be um good um i'm going back to read her bedtime story later um but sorry sorry um um what what what's happening what 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 what's going on uh okay bedtime story yeah okay so jack texted me this morning the reason that he's taking adinia out on a date is so that she is away from everyone else so we can set up her surprise birthday party. <gasps> yes! 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 It's supposed to be in the down, the lower reach plaza area where there's usually like a bunch of illegal shit happening, but the pirates are clearing that entire place out and paying the bars so that they can just serve us drinks all night. Why? Oh my god. So he asked if we could go help set everything up down the plaza and meet them down there when it's starting to get darker out. Oh, absolutely. Should I bring the sparklers? That's a stupid question. Of course I'll grab the sparklers. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Jack has, like, everything planned. He even thought that Nadine was gonna procrastinate and stay longer than she should've, so everything would've been late. So he literally came and picked her up. Oh, that's perfect. Or was planning to. Yeah. I know the pirates are planning on drinking the entire night away, but if you want to come back up and spend time with Istis, um... Yeah, yeah, but for sure, we can, we can figure out, um, that later after we set up. Okay, let's, let's do it. <laughs> all right uh do you all go down to the lower reach are you all on board with this did quinn or kira want to do something else well i guess we're doing this um this it's fine you can do this yeah quinn uh see no reason not to okay uh you go down to the lower reach uh the plaza that they're setting up used to be the old center of town uh, back when the city was a lot smaller in the lower reach. Uh, you see that they've kind of encouraged those who normally set up here to move along. Encouraged. <laughs> Get the fuck out of here. I'll cut you. <laughs> uh, and it actually looks like they cleaned it. That's a big thing that you've noticed. Uh, because, I mean, the streets of the Lower Reach are disgusting. They're dirty. Like, 
pretty, you know, covered in soot and dust and dirt and used needles and other things. Mm. Uh, but it looks like they actually, like, fucking got, like, a broom and, like, were sweeping and, like, washing this area just to, like, make it really fucking nice. Uh, and you see in the center, there is a very beautiful mosaic that has just been covered with years of grime. Uh, and as you guys are looking at it, uh, it has some very familiar aspects to it. You see a woman uh, with her eyes closed. Uh, she is holding two knitting needles and seems to be knitting something that kind of uh, spirals out from her and like keeps spiraling around her uh, in this beautiful mosaic of all these like different changing, not changing, but all these different colors in it. Uh, it looks like a lot of murals of Istis. Mm -hmm. However, the woman is definitely not Istis. Oh. I don't like this. I don't like the very clear path you're putting us down. I don't like this. I don't like it. I don't like it. I don't like it. It's say she had a predecessor. At least she told me that. Uh, I don't... Anyway. <laughs> uh, but the pirates are getting everything set up. They're getting, they're like bringing out tables and chairs from some of the bars. Uh, they set up like a whole bunch of string lights across. Uh, you see they've brought in a whole bunch of these really pretty white flowers that they're setting up around. Mm -hmm. uh, so you guys are free to help them out with that. Yeah. And if you have any any other little things that you want to do, please message me uh, if you think of them like your character specifically wants to do. And I'm going to drag Chris back in. Okay. Cool. Are the things we're doing supposed to be surprised? Uh, this is supposed to be a surprise, so yes. Okay. That's why you message her specifically. I see, I see, I see, I see. So Chris does not know out of character or in character. Wow. I did, did... Uh, hi. Cl Anadina dies. Yep. Oh, okay. She's dead. Uh, Clark is very upset because someone said that, it, that, that DC Justice League beats MC, uh, oh, well, loses to MCU. What? The the DC Justice at me. League. What? Justice League beats it. it Justice League. It Justice League. Justice League loses to the MCU. Are we talking animated or the like in the, the, IRL? The, the, like the, the, mo the movie stuff. Uh, uh Then yeah, no, I agree with her. No, I'm sorry. Mostly sorry, you're all wrong. Vastly outnumbered. Are, are you sure? You it's, it's because it's because Superman and Flash uh, Flash exceed everything. Except, no, you know, the no. god powers. God power? No, they exceed god powers! Dark side is a god! Oh, are uh, we talking about who would win in a fight? Yeah. Uh, it depends what version of the Hulk you're using. Or Doctor Strange being around. Uh, I'm still gonna go on Hulk with that. It depends what version of the Hulk you have. It... it... I'm glad you found something productive to do while you were in. It it I did I did find something productive to do, and then and then and then I had a conversation about this. It's because anything that um, Superman has has Superman has punched uh, punched uh, uh, punched reality before to the point where it reset the entire universe, and Flash is uh, Flash is faster than uh uh anything in existence, and anything that's a as fast or faster than him, he can absorb their speed. Uh Okay, I'm... but let me tell you this. Superman sucks ass and is boring as fuck in Yay. most of Okay, days. but that change that doesn't change what I say. No, it doesn't I... change the fact that he's strong, he's just stupid. I am still going to stick with uh what I said before if it depends what version of Hulk there is. Because there's some versions of Hulk where Bruce Banner's controlling him and when that happens he's a weak ass bitch. Yes. Uh, there's some versions where it's 
you know, the switcheroo where they switch places. Uh, and in those versions, it depends. Uh, there's some versions where Hulk is in control and uh, is kind of like insanely strong in those ones, like Planet Hulk and yeah. all those stuff. And that I would at least see, contend. See, 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 I, okay. I, I agree Thor. that the Hulk has a chance to fight Superman at that level, but I don't think he could ever win. Mostly because... throw out Thor. That, okay, okay. Thor doesn't you work here because, the, the, it, again, Superman fights gods on a regular basis. Fights. What was your opinion, Greg? I'm gonna go with Ruin King Thor, which one of his powers is immortality. So, mm -hmm. and he actually has gone into a sun, into yes. the middle of the sun, and lived. Yes. So Superman can do that, but I still don't think Superman, who is just technically an alien, <laughs> not a god. Okay. Okay. Thor Superman. Superman god. fights uh, gods and has has and has punched reality to uh, to the point where people uh, stop existing. You know existing. what though? Ant Man. I take it back. Ant Man would Ant -Man win. Ant Man goes Ant -Man. and fights Superman and blows him up. Yep. Ant Man. The only uh, actual solution to any problem ever again. <laughs> he, does, he does the see, way that everyone said he was going to beat Thanos. <laughs> see. 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 See, this is this is the you you guys you keep talking about Hulk versus Superman, and I feel like I feel like you're not making the right argument. Superman is weak to magic. Had you guys said anything about like magic stuff, that would that that makes that makes sense, right? Oh, but magic. we're talking we're talking MCU, MCU versus Justice League. I mean, Superman's fucking... weak to rocks. Yeah. Doctor Strange in the MCU seems pretty fucking powerful. Yeah, Doctor Strange is very powerful. I'm I'm, I'm not saying I'm not I'm not saying that he's not, but I don't think anybody beats Flash in the uh, Flash in the MCU. I also period. think we should save this for afterwards so Marissa can be part yeah, of the Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's talk, save this for Flash afterwards. Could, I apologize. Flash could get beat by Invisible Woman. <laughs> Flash is I've just seen... a punk kid. Um anyway. Allow me to list for you the superhero movies I've seen. And don't ask questions. Just just accept the first Thor movie like three fucking times. <laughs> <laughs> Iron Man one, Iron Man one, um, like two minutes of Iron Man two, Avengers the first one, one specific scene in Avengers the second one I think. Thus concludes my superhero knowledge. But did you watch uh, the best superhero movie, which is? Uh... The Lego Batman movie. No, I didn't. And I'm that's really it. sad. Okay, we do need to watch that because it is pretty good. <laughs> All right. All right. Anyways, hi guys. How's how how was how was dying? Good. Good. All right. Pretty, cool. Pretty, pretty good. Glad you guys I... had a fun time dying without me. How could you? Nadinia. No, no, you died off camera. We're yep. mourning your loss now. Mm -hmm. Uh, I don't believe that. I'm, I don't accept that. I'm, I'm just going to go with you guys, Dodge. I accept that reality. If you want to continue, we don't have to do your date. Okay, never mind. I'm sorry. Shush. Everybody shush. <laughs> All right. Medina, you open up the door. And as you do, you see Jack there, uh, hand raised as he was just about to knock, holding a bouquet of very beautiful white roses. He is also dressed in a very, uh, a very nice, like, white suit. I think Nadinia looks him up and down. How pristine is he? Absolutely. She nods. Good. You at least know how to you at least know how I like things. He kind of gives a bit of a smirk and he switches from going to knock to kind of leaning on the doorway as he offers you the roses. I think Nadinia just kind of takes a takes a, a step back a little bit. Hi. Uh Thank you for the flowers. 
uh, he kind of, he, he, he looks a little bit, like, quizzical. Uh, as he says, uh, well, did I clean up well enough for the day? This is your prize, isn't it? Blinks. Then glares at him. <laughs> you owe me three more dresses. And it shall be done. She nods. Then she yells back into the... It back into the house. I got three dresses. Okay, bye. I'm going. And grabs grabs his arm and it runs off. <laughs> uh, well, he actually leads you uh, to something that is very rarely seen uh, mm -hmm. in Marai. Uh, it's a fucking horse-drawn carriage. Stops. Looks over at Jack. Then back at the horse-drawn carriage. And then back at Jack. You brought me horses? Uh, he gives you a smile and he says, Well, uh, I just wanted for my lady to travel in style. Like I said, all this is your prize. What kind of horses are they? Uh, they are just... It's The horses themselves aren't super fancy. Uh, mm -hmm. It's actually just one horse that's pulling it. It's mm -hmm. kind of like those ones that you see at parks. Ah, gotcha. Like those yeah. ponies. Well. Uh, I mean, those are usually still horses, but it's... Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, it, it depends. It, it depends. It's more of like an open one so you can see everything as you travel. It's... Mm -hmm. Definitely the kind that is used more for show than for actual practical use. Uh, but he goes over to the side and he offers you a hand to help you get up. Take it and uh, gently sit down, smoothing my dress out. Mm-hmm. Uh, he goes ahead, uh, he gets in and sits next to you, and the driver goes ahead and starts off. Uh, so Jack looks at you, uh, he seems to be thinking of something for a second, and then he says, Nadinia, Miss Crazahot, do you trust me? When he when he says that, she's she like her eyes go a little wide and she looks over and she doesn't look scared so much as like like oh no what are you about to do yes uh he gives a big grin and he says then I'd like to ask that you uh. You trust me for what I have planned for tonight. All right? I'm wearing makeup. Uh. I don't know if that means anything, but I'm wearing makeup and I won't let you ruin it. Oh, no, we're not going swimming. <laughs> okay, good. Although I will keep that in the back of my mind. You realize how hard it is to find blue makeup. Uh, I will say I really don't. It is extremely hard to find blue makeup. Everybody keeps asking me, do you want paint? And I'm like, uh, no. Thank you for this evening. Uh, and she kind of leans smile. against him a little bit. Yeah, he puts his arm around you and he says, well, thank you for saving my life as I heard about it. What? No. You were just... Falling to my doom. 
practicing. Practicing for what? How to get saved. <laughs> Are you You're very good I at it. Are you saying I can expect it more often? I mean... Now that I have you, now that I've done it for you, you know, you, you can, you can take in some of, a bit of it and, you know, do it for me one time and maybe for the crew uh, that you've been neglecting. Uh, see. We can set up a rotation. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I saved your life once and now, you know, you've done, you've done it for me a few times. Uh, so as you guys are traveling, the, the drive is almost comedically short like it's it very ridiculous yeah it's very <laughs> ridiculous that he got a carriage for this no it's not it was beautiful and perfect you leave that boy alone <laughs> wouldn't a lot of carriage rides in the upper reach be really short yeah they're like i said they're usually just for show like they're usually yeah. around the park yeah. uh but this was like you assume he paid this man just for this part, and that's kind of silly. Uh, as he stops in front of a very, very nice uh, store. Uh, it, however, doesn't look open right now. It actually has, like, the closed sign out. Kind of look at him incredulously. Yep, he, he hops out. And he offers you his hand. Take it. Mm -hmm. And she she's not she hasn't she's not like giving any questioning looks, but has like the eyebrow raised like, OK, all right. Yep. He leads you to the door uh, and he opens it. It's not locked at all. Uh, the lights are still on uh, and you see uh, about three. It looks like different employees uh, standing there who give you a bow as you come in. I nod to them. Mm -hmm. uh, Jack follows in after you. Uh, and he kind of, he, he's facing them, but he kind of like is talking to you as he says, all right, you got the whole store to yourself. What kind of store is it? It's clothing store. Uh, clothing, accessories, not as much jewelry. Nadinia just kind of looks around for a little bit. There, it is two floors of clothes. Why do I only have to pick up three? I never made that rule. Okay, one second. And she, uh, she, uh, she, uh, grabs him by the shoulder and then grabs her shoe, takes it off, t grabs her other two, takes it off. Okay, I'm going to be busy. And she, <laughs> <laughs> he kind of cracked her neck a little bit and says, you and you come with me, please. Yep. They, they hurry along. Uh, one of them is a, uh, a tailor. So she's mm -hmm. there to help like tailor anything that you choose. Mm-hmm. Uh, but yes, they immediately follow after you. Jack follows behind a little bit. Like, he gives you guys a bit of space, but he's still following behind. Uh -huh. Uh, and I'm assuming we get a very nice shopping montage. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, mm -hmm. first, but first things first, the first thing she buys is a, is, is, like, an outfit for everyone giving them the exact measurements because i've done this so many so many fucking <laughs> times at this point so you get very nice fancy outfits for everyone mm -hmm. uh i jack makes a comment but he doesn't stop you he's like i didn't know i was uh i was outfitting your whole group am i taking she, them all on dates too and she she looks she looks over and says it says no i think most of them are taken I'm pretty sure all of them are taken. <gasps> Maurice isn't taken. What do you do for your I'm cousin? I'm not dating Maurice. <laughs> <laughs> what do you do for your cousin? Like, what? what is he? 
Like, what happened? Ah, uh, with Murray's? How did that happen? How did what happen? Like, your family is supposed to be, I don't know, some kind of... Mafia, right? Yeah, organized crime. Well... How did that happen? Uh, well... Maurice's mom didn't really... She wasn't, uh... She was married into the family. And, uh, Maurice's dad died, uh, during an operation, kind of a sting out. Uh, she got real spooked by it. Didn't really want to stay there and risk that happening to her son. So she skedaddled over here to, uh, about as far away as she could get. Well then. We'll have to get something for him too i don't remember i don't i don't haven't done his measurements but if i can rem remember correctly as she's like can you get him out of his normal armor oh no this is going to go with his armor of course you can't get maurice out of his armor i mean i don't think anyone's tried By the way, you know any cute anybody for him? I uh, see so you feel? added for him. Because I was going to say, I do know someone very cute. I'll stop. But yeah, she goes about, you know, yeah, getting clothing <laughs> for everybody, and then she does pick out her three dresses for herself. Yeah. Uh... Roll me an insight check. Mm hmm And she does get one for him, too. Is it a dress or just a nice outfit? It's just, just a night, nice outfit. Yeah, yeah. Insight, insight. I'm pretty okay at those. I'll eventually click it, you know, whenever my character sheet decides, you know. I'll Loading load. is fine. Yeah. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. Oh, See, I'm, damn. Pretty, I'm, I'm pretty good. I'm pretty good at those. So you can tell, like these uh, these people that are helping you out, mm -hmm. uh, they're they're doing a very good job. They're acting very professionally. Mm -hmm. uh, you can tell that there is an amount of fear and dislike towards uh, Jack. Not like a lot of fear. It's more dislike. Look over, look over at, uh, Jack. You're not robbing these people, are you? What? No. No, of course not. In fact, I hope their shipments, uh, get here safe and sound. Ah! That's so sweet. I mean, you're dating a pirate. Like, yeah, I'm, yeah. Not, I'm, I'm not complaining. I'm not complaining at all. She's like, she, she, she's, she's agreeing with the the assessment at mm -hmm. this point. And I even uh, waived their cost just for tonight. Wow. Did you hear that? They look super pissed. <laughs> <laughs> And uh, one thing she does try to do is get an outfit for um, uh, proper piracy. Proper piracy. Yeah, you know what I mean. Trying to get a get get back into her. Her clothing's are her clothing has long since been destroyed. Demolished. Yeah. So she's getting you know the. The old, the old wear back. Yeah. Uh, this place might be, well, I guess it depends. A lot of the stuff here is very fancy. Mm -hmm. Um, but you can probably find at least a couple of things that you could piece together into what would look more like a uh, pirate outfit. Mm -hmm. I think the most important thing to note for the night, though, is that not everything that she buys is, like, perfectly 
symmetrical. <laughs> okay. I'm assuming that's for other people. No, no, even for herself. Really? All right. Yeah, she, she's, nice. she's 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 trying. If anybody asks, well, if Jack asks, I'm sure they wouldn't notice. She says, "Well, it's always good thing to get to try new things, different uh, things, mm -hmm. very difficult things." Jack would agree with you and uh, remind you that. There's usually at least one angle, even if it's not straight down the front, that makes it look symmetrical. Oh, good enough. That's good. <laughs> and, uh, she'll have it all bagged up and everything? Yep. They promise to deliver it to your house. Like, mm -hmm. to your address. So you don't have to worry about lugging it all around. And then we'll look to Jack and say, well, what else? Uh, he offers you his arm mm -hmm. as he takes you back. I'm sure it's been hours by now. Oh, yeah, definitely. Hours, hours. It's uh, it's getting kind of late. Uh, so he goes ahead and he... Uh, the carriage is still there, so both of you get into the carriage. Uh -huh. uh, and he has the carriage do a lap around the park. Uh, which is very nice. It's just a very nice... Uh, I don't want to say it's a cold evening, but it's a crisp evening. Uh, you can tell that, like, fall's coming. Uh -huh. Sorry, one second. I have a question. Mm -hmm. How does he take Polly? So How does Polly I actually around? meant to ask, did you tell Polly to stay? Um, I would have told asked Polly if she would, you know, remain here. She would return. Uh, like, because this is where she lives. Uh... Roll persuasion real quick. Yeah. Oh, okay. I. Right. She says, uh... Stop it! Stop it, game! I need these for when I attack things! <laughs> Do you... Is there collateral here? Items that you could not live without? that you would have to come back for. He grins. How strong is your porcelain? Unbreakable. I go and fetch Archer. I see. This mutated rat should work if you sincerely hold it dear. Oh, I do. It's like attacking her and she she's just not. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I do. Don't let him lose don't let him leave your sight. You cannot give me orders. Well, then you might lose your collateral. I do not need to follow your orders to do what I must. And she will hold on to Archer. <laughs> But yes, so then the other option is that she was going to follow you the whole night. Yes. But she could have given you enough space where it was just... Yeah, crazy. I know. I know. It was just... <laughs> it was just... Yeah. Uh, I, think, yeah. I think bringing Archer into the, whole, into the whole thing is perfect collateral. I love don't, that dog. Don't, don't, don't let him hurt... Don't let Polly hurt my dog, please. Uh, so anyway, you are... In the carriage with Jack going around. Uh, you didn't say days. no. Correct. I did not say no. Oh, uh, going damn it. around one of the city parks. Uh, it's, like I said, a very beautiful kind of crisp night. Uh, at one point, Jack stops the carriage, leans down, 
and gets you both some hot cocoa. Mm-hmm. Uh, you're feeling kind of hungry at this point because you haven't eaten yet. Mm -hmm. uh, and eventually the carriage leads you uh, down to... It's near where the trolley is for the to go down to the lower reach. Uh, but next to the trolley, uh, you see... Do you remember that gondola that you took to go to the party? The super yeah. slow one? It looks kind of like that. Uh, but it is located next to the trolley. The trolley? What's another word for that? The lift? The ferry. The ferry. That's it. Ah, I understand now. Yes. He helps you get off from the carriage and offers to help you get into the gondola. I take it, of course. Mm -hmm. uh, he pushes off and the gondola very gently uh, floats its way down. Uh, it doesn't actually go nearly as slowly as it did uh for that one for the party uh -huh. uh, it actually goes I wouldn't say fast uh, but it goes at a pretty decent pace uh, until eventually you get to the lower reach where uh, you see a very grumpy looking man standing there uh, as Jack helps you get off and walk away from the gondola you see the guy kind of like grumbling as he goes and collects it And Jack starts uh, leading you down the streets. Uh, he seems to have a very set destination in mind. And this, after... This is the trust part? <laughs> yeah, this, this is the trust part. And at one point he stops right before you were going to like turn a corner onto a street. He says, and this this is a little bit more of the trust pot. And he hands you a blindfold. I look down at it. What color is the blindfold? It's white. Okay. I, I look down and I'm like. <laughs> okay, it matches the dress. And she'll start putting it on. Yep, he helps you get it on. Uh, he basically offers you his arm again and mm. he starts leading you very slowly, very carefully uh, for the rest of you guys uh, you see Nadine approaching, uh, everyone kind of quiets down uh, Jack leads you to the center, you can kind of just barely hear the sounds of like a lot of people, which makes sense. You are in the lower reach after all. Mm -hmm. It doesn't seem like he leads you into a building or anything like that. In fact, it feels like he leads you into the middle of a street. Mm -hmm. uh, and for everyone there, he raises his hand. He does three, two, one, and he pulls off the blindfold. Nadinia, you are greeted to a sight of an enormous party. Uh, there's this huge kind of plaza that's been cleared out, uh, with, surrounded by a couple different taverns and stuff. Uh, and you see Jack's crew and you see your friends. Uh, you actually see uh, like your dad in the back. Mm -hmm. Um. And there's some strangers and people that you don't really know that just seem to have been walking by or were helping in the hopes of getting food and drink as there's a bunch of tables and there's a bunch of food and drinks lined up on them. There's these lights that are like spread above it. You see these like glowing flowers that have been set up. Uh, whole bunches of white flowers. Uh, just 
absolutely beautiful scene. Uh, and all of Jack's crew and Jack, and I'm assuming everyone else, mm -hmm. uh, yells to you, happy birthday. I think Nadine just stands there in shock for a little while. That's who said, Nadine dies. And then, and then she glares over at Jack and says, I said I was wearing makeup. <laughs> he, he picks you up in a big hug as he kind of twirls you around. And as that happens, there's a band off to the side that starts up in like, just very like upbeat, almost kind of like, uh, kind of like a, a jazzy sea shanty. It's a very strange mix that somehow works really well as a bunch of the crew grabs dance partners and they start coming out and dancing. And the party has officially started. Then she stalks over to, my, uh, to her friends. How dare! We wouldn't fucking leave. We couldn't talk about it for the longest time. <laughs> there. <laughs> you do that. To I'm wearing makeup. <laughs> As he's like, Are you not like normal? furiously trying not to cry. <laughs> And then she grabs all of her friends all at once and squeezes them. Aww. Twist. My phone's break and I die. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay, you died in my loving arms and that's all that matters. <laughs> oh boy, to die. No! <laughs> you guys are the best. It was Maple's idea? Nah, it was Jack's idea. He texted me this morning. Oh. Jack kind of comes over with Isaac. I really appreciate Maple. You, you, uh, all of y'all pulled through. These decorations look fantastic. Flowers are exactly symmetrical. <laughs> yep, the flowers are symmetrical. Uh, Iris is actually funny, uh, <laughs> Marissa and <laughs> Jamie, both Iris and uh, Iris and uh, Maple. Maple said they wanted to use the glowing flowers. Oh, yeah. they're cute as fuck. They got I, that missed, that thing. I missed I love Alicia it. after you did, and she's just like, oh. Uh, <laughs> I always said the same thing. flower wavelength. Yes. <laughs> so I yes. said flower that beautiful. I made the flowers, and you like put them where you thought they would be. Yes, we are the dream team. But here, we... here's the oh, thing, no, though. Over. Here's the thing, though. Is it symmetrical? Yes, of course. I mean, yes. Kira specifically said she made it all symmetrical. Mm -hmm. Okay, all right, good, good. Kira loves me. Wow. <laughs> I'm sure the others too. Uh, so yeah, I grab, I grab each of them in turn and hug them very deeply. The sentiment and... is appreciated. Uh, Quinn hands you a small package. Qu she looks down at it and... Stop! I'm wearing makeup! <laughs> Opens it, of course. It is um, a patch of mending. It's like the outfit of mending, but you can apply it to whatever outfit you want. So now it can't tear or get dirty. Now, did we bring the motorcycle up? No, this is a terrible place to have a oh, motorcycle. Oh, no. Drinking and driving <laughs> is not where we're going to bring the fucking <laughs> motorcycle out. Hell no. Maybe we would have been like, leave it. Leave it. No touchy. Looks down at it. <laughs> now my makeup is ruined. 
Jack was uh -huh. fully, fully prepared for this. He pulls out a compact mirror and a handkerchief. Damn, son. I'd kill every one of you if it did, if it if it meant that you guys would be if it would, didn't mean if you guys would be dead. Oh. I mean, you're welcome to try. No, <laughs> no, says Kira. <laughs> Jack looks so fucking like he looks very proud of himself for all this. Like. He, he's taking a little bit of pride in, you know, all the work he put in for this. <sighs> then she's gonna go over to her dad, and then, and then like, kick him lightly in the in the shit and say, "You do too." <laughs> he he gives a laugh and he's like, "I was told an hour ago." <laughs> oh, good. That I didn't have a choice. You can't keep the secret. Yeah, Jack was perceived. I knew he would tell you. <laughs> when are you going to show up to your surprise party? Shit! <laughs> Time should I be there to prepare for your surprise party? <laughs> uh, but he, he pulls you into this huge, big hug. Uh, and he... Uh, he actually pulls out his own gift. It's a very small one. Pull uh, it out. It's... Open it. Yeah. It is a ring. Uh, it is a uh, small, not super fancy looking uh, silver ring uh, that has uh it's not a huge diamond. It's like a very small one. Mm -hmm. uh, but then it has like little bits of this strange pink that go around it that you're not familiar with. Uh, and your dad gives you a big smile and he says, uh, this was, uh, well, this was uh, your grandmother's, my, my mother's. Uh, it's supposed to be passed down, and I meant to give it to you a couple birthdays ago. I miss those, but I hope that uh, it's not too late for this. It Fuck! It <laughs> she pulled out the compact. <laughs> <laughs> starts dabbing her eyes some more. He's like, I don't know where our family got it from or what it is about. Uh, but it's the only thing that she, no matter how hard things got, she refused to sell. She? You mean... Mom? It, it was given to her, too, at one point. She, uh, she stopped wearing it when it was supposed to go to you. He hugs her dad very deeply. Yep, he pulls you into a, a very tight embrace that he's very well known for. And he just says, Happy birthday, Nadinia. Uh, it's very nice. I'm... Oh. He also tells you, I think this boy's a keeper. Shut up! <laughs> Come on, the boy robbed me and I still think he's a keeper. But he didn't know. <laughs> he's 
<laughs> yeah, he's like he's like next to Jack, like patting him on the back and like very hard. And Jack looks very, very awkward. <laughs> very not, not, like, hard. Re- not repressed angry, like not at all. Mm-hmm. Uh just like He's jovial. Yeah, like your dad doesn't know his own strength sometimes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He big and strong. Mm-hmm. Precious Jack. And you. And she turns over, turns towards Jack, grabs him by the shirt. You have a lot of dancing to do, young man. <laughs> and he gives you a smile and he says, I hope your card's not full. It's not. Shut up. <laughs> I don't have a lot of comebacks right now. <laughs> uh, he will lead you out uh, for dancing. Mm-hmm. Just a quick question for everyone else. What do you guys do during the party? Dance with Quinn. Yeah. yeah. I was yeah. Say I'll probably try to get Kira to dance and uh, harass Iris into making sure that she dances with Maple. I mean, Maple <laughs> was gonna try to keep Iris's mind off of the horrors that she told us before. Right, yeah, the horrors. As much yeah. as she can. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I mean, to be fair, I think this is a good place for it. Everyone is fucking... Ext- this is... Quinn, this is probably the happiest you've ever seen someone in the lower reach. Yeah. And, and I do want to point out there are like random people that are kind of joining in because it's not really like anybody that tries to turn anyone away and the Dina growls. No, no one does. Mm-hmm. Uh people just come in, uh, get drinks, get food, join in the dancing. Uh it's it's just really nice. Like everyone's just having a, a really good time. I don't know about Kira, but I do still have a level of exhaustion, so I probably try to get us to call it a night around midnight, two, somewhere in there. <laughs> yeah, I think I actually have two. I oh. slept like a I, I took one off because I slept all day. Well, I hope yeah. that's all right, but I still have uh, one. Yeah, there was just the one that you would. Yeah, then, I think yeah, Iris also is very exhausted. Yeah. yeah, I still have three. So like, so I'll, that, that's I'll a her a girlfriend problem. She yeah. Can, like, no, no, everyone. Uh, no, real no. quick though, can everyone roll performances for the dancing? Okay. Oh, of course, of course. Now it's not I better use an Istis hack. No, I'm joking. Do you even have any? I have one. Stop. I can't. I can't. I can't dance through my tears. <laughs> Even with my disadvantage, I still do pretty all right. I feel yeah. for yeah, street dancing. That's <laughs> fine. Uh, give me one second. I'm trying to roll for Jack. Oh damn! Jack's <laughs> fucking tearing it up. Uh, Ndina, you're having kind of some problems, struggling a bit, uh, but Jack just effortlessly kind of leads you through the movements and the dances. Ndina's ever danced in dress, though. Yeah, she has. The other ball. Yeah. 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 Uh, you, you just like, used me you as just a rag doll. You fucking... Not, it's a hack. Maybe not like this kind of dancing. Yeah. It's more of a jig. Yeah, we're, we're being oh, like... She's she's so busy trying not to tear it, forgetting that she's got a mending patch for it now because she put it on behind herself so she couldn't see it. Because yeah, it, I mean, it, I would it, assume you could probably put it in by the like inside it if you don't. Yeah, it, when you, if you actually take it off to put it on. Yeah, that's 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 the issue, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, I mean, very easily you could have handed it to Jack, and he could have just like flipped it behind, like uh, on the inside of your back. Oh, that works. Yeah. Yeah, that works. Uh, but yeah, Jack kind of 
uh, leads you through the dances and stuff. So even though you're not like at the top of your game, I mean, you're just having fun. Uh, oh, Iris and Maple. <laughs> yeah, I'm not going to talk about it. Yeah. Neither of you guys are familiar with these songs. Uh, so you guys just end up kind of doing your own dance. Hell yeah, and it's great. Uh, and you know what? They at invent a, the chicken dance certain, in the corner. As, <laughs> as a, honestly, at a certain point, Mabel just stops fucking caring and starts just trying to make Iris laugh her fucking ass off. So Aww. she's doing the most ridiculous, Aww. stupid dances that she can. That's so great. I'm imagining I, I'm imagining Mabel just like doing the peanut dances. 100%. <laughs> oh my god. That's beautiful. Like that kind of stuff and then like impersonating like dad dances and shit like that. Aww. <laughs> that is absolutely impersonate, impersonate my dad. <laughs> oh, 100%. <laughs> oh yeah, I know your dad uh, doesn't fucking know what he's doing. Uh, it's the best thing ever. He does like the uh, the sprinkler at one point. He does like the, <laughs> the macarena. Like he's got no idea. But boy, howdy, is he doing it? Hey, 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 hey! I'm right alongside him. <laughs> <laughs> and then let's see, Quinn and Quinn and Kira. Uh, you guys aren't super familiar with these dances either uh but both of you have like really you're both very smart and very keen and it's not that hard to pick up on these dances so after you know after you see one or two songs you guys get the gist of it pretty well mm -hmm. uh and you're you're keeping up you're keeping up with the pirate crew so that says yeah. quite a lot they seem pretty impressed by uh by your skills I will say that Kira is like a bit extra cuddly, if that makes Aww. any sense. Like, yeah, to the point where she probably wouldn't have been comfortable doing it at one point. So, trying not to touch. There's other a lot people. more physical affection than usual. It's is it is it trying not to touch other people? Yeah, she tries not to touch anybody else. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Mm. Meanwhile, but in the yeah. background, Maple doing the worm. Yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah. yeah. Meanwhile, Maple's like, dabbing walking. over there. Oh, hundred percent. And to like the really bad like break dancing and yeah. Oh, are you okay? Are you okay, Iris? Are you... Iris, are you okay? <laughs> yeah, this is great. How is Iris doing? Um, you know. You know. Um, you know, no, having fun, you. like, okay. like definitely having fun, definitely having a good time, but also one, she's sleepy Two, um, I think she would still dip out a little bit early to mm -hmm. go read us this a bedtime story. I, Maple would walk you back and then go back down to the party. Oh, oh that's very sweet. Iris gives you like the longest hug goodbye and makes you promise 18 times to be safe and mm -hmm. to text her when you get back to the party so she knows you got there, okay? Of she course. So. You know, she'll she'll get mugged by <laughs> some random yeah. thug and they'll wake up in the, upside down in a dumpster somewhere. Dude, they'll wake up with no dick. <laughs> yeah. Let me know it if you have to, fun. like, maim any men on the way down. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Let me know if you have to maim anyone. Uh, if I heal it, they technically cannot uh, charge us for the crime. I don't think that's how that works. I don't. I'm the lower region, my be. Technically, I mean, oh it's God. technically. I mean, like, what are you gonna say? Oh, this this star called beat me up when I tried to mug them. <laughs> I know I don't have a single mark on me. Yeah, what's what's did. the evidence? <laughs> <laughs> what's the evidence? There's no, there's no, there's no, uh, no bruise, no bruise, no crime. Ah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> 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 Seems 
questionable. <laughs> yeah, you you come back. Uh, this, I will tell you all, this party lasts pretty late into the night. Like, uh, it probably starts to wrap up around uh, four-ish, maybe even five. And that's mostly because everyone's passed out. So it's not wrapped up as much as everyone's blackout drunk on the floor. Yeah. Probably including okay. Maple, honestly. <laughs> I have definitely cool. tried to take Kira home well yeah, before this point. Early. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I don't think Nadine stops partying. Jack, uh, definitely does not either. Do you end up passed out? Do you... If you want, we can have you roll a con save to see. I'll roll a con save for it. Are you drinking? That's an important question. Of course. All right, disadvantage. I don't have the poison thing yet, right? No, I don't think. No, sweet. No. So I can still get drunk. Sweet. No, you can't do that yet. You're not immune to poison yet. Nice. I can still drink. It's. Uh, I think it's level ten, honestly. Nice. Yeah, ten or eleven. Fifteen. You are on the edge. Like when it when most people are passed out, you you feel it like really hit where you're like, okay, I can either stay here a little bit or I will pass out, or you know, stay here a little bit and pass out, or, or go, go home and pass out. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna I'm gonna make Jack take me home. Mm-hmm. Mostly because I have an obligation to go get to co- go collect Archer. Yep. Uh, as you guys are leaving, he calls out and you know he yells back to what's left of his crew that is still awake, which is not a lot. Mm-hmm. Uh, most of them are at least laying on the ground, just like mm. he's like, "I'm taking the uh, I'm uh, I'm taking Miss Captain back home," and uh, you hear like a bunch of wolf whistles from like these drunk people on the ground some of them like raise a bit of a a glass to that i also forgot to mention that the two lesbians were there hell yeah Uh, and they were trying to do a waltz to it and it didn't work but they were cute don't Uh, care was awesome somebody's Mm -hmm. gotta get those girls the right concept okay (laughs) anyway (laughs) Uh, but yeah, Jack will lead you. You both are kind of stumbling. Well, back. well, f- before before she goes, she thanks everybody with like the the biggest bow she could possibly manage without you know falling over immediately falling over and passing <laughs> out. Yep. Uh, nearly everyone is at least on the ground by this point. Mm-hmm. Uh, so the ones that are still awake, most of them just kind of raise their glass. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, but yeah, Jack will lead you back. Like I said, you're both kind of stumbling. Uh, Jack is a uh, how to phrase. He's a, a laughing drunk. You know, he's the kind mm-hmm. that gets like really happy. Yeah, he's the kind that like laughs at anything when he gets mm-hmm. everything's the funniest thing. Dean is like happy punch drunk. Oh, she's no. like she's like violently jo- jovial. She's the one that breaks shit and then yeah. laughs about it. He, She'd he be definitely... the one to die to dive off the roof into the pool. <laughs> uh do you guys end up taking the ferry back? Uh he leads you up to uh the temple. Uh He's got a a very big smile on his face as he gives you uh, a bow. And he says, Well, uh, (laughs) I I hope that was worth first price. And let it not be said that uh, Captain Jack doesn't keep his uh, promises. Another. Another. 
Another party. <laughs> Your birthday. When? Oh, my birthday. I, that's that for a couple months. Okay, we'll find another reason then. Uh, he... He pulls out a small piece of paper and hands it to you. Uh, he says that that is uh, where I am uh, staying in the meantime. And it's a, a hotel or it's an inn on the lower reach. And mm -hmm. it has uh, his name, the inn and his room number mm -hmm. along with the key. Look at it. Hand it back. He no, 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 no. The paper, not the key. The paper, not the key. Okay. Yeah. I have it memorized. She has it memorized now. Yeah. She only had to look at it. Uh-huh. He's like, all right. He, he takes it back. I don't want anybody else knowing where you are. He he gives a shrug, uh, and he he moves a bit closer to you in the doorway, mm -hmm. and says, "Now, I know I didn't win, but I was wondering if I might still get my prize that I asked." Hmm. It's a wonder. what one little party can do to a woman. I suddenly forgot what it, what it was. What did you ask for again? And uh, he leans forward and he kisses you. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, I suppose you can have more of those. <laughs> <laughs> he kisses you again before he uh, gives you another bow and says uh, he's like I, I will not keep you from your duties any longer Miss Captain bye Jack and uh Take care of your crew. Behave. And I want three more dresses. <laughs> He's like, well, I think if you want more dresses, you got to win another bet. <sighs> Fine. And Rumbles with that, a little bit. he gives you a wave and he heads off looking very uh, happy with himself. Mm -hmm. Stand there watching. Turn around. Almost run right into Polly. Holy shit! <laughs> <laughs> yep, uh, she did not move from the door where you gave her Archer. Uh, Archer looks very upset because it does not look like she has put him down or moved in the hours that she's been holding him. What are you doing to him? Give him here! <laughs> <laughs> All right, you you take Archer. Uh, he immediately starts biting you and trying to get down. Yeah, I put him down. I put him down almost immediately and let him run out the door so he can, you know, do his business. Yeah, he, he runs out, just fucking bolts out there. She looks to you and says, ah, you did come back. Is that surprising? I'm not programmed to feel surprise. Boo. What'd you say? Boo. Did it did it work? No. She's still half drunk. Yeah, no, that's fine. <laughs> she she's watches for a reaction. Nothing. I'm gonna talk to that guy. First, I gotta get to my room. Sleep off this hangover that's coming.
and gets to the room and goes to sleep. Yep. Polly uh, follows you and waits outside your door. Good night, Quinn. <laughs> Watch out for the Warforged. He's standing right outside the door. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Uh, all of you can sleep to your heart's content. And for those who need to, you can take off an exhaustion. I'll take off my one that I got from last night now. Mm-hmm. Uh, Quinn. Yeah. Uh, do you talk to your brother at all before you go to bed? Uh, probably not bef- before I go to bed. Maybe, maybe a little bit. Is he back? He's back. Yes. Okay. I, I say I'm glad he's back and that I'm going to go tomorrow to figure out his name so I can call him something proper. And then I ask him if he can help me find my arm. Hello? Yeah, I mean, he, he can't respond, so he just stares at you. Hello? Hello? Hi. Can you hear me? Yes. I said that he just stares at you. He can't respond. Yeah, I just... We'll figure something out to communicate at some point. Mm Mm-hmm. All right, so you go to bed? Yep. Uh, As you are sleeping, you see through his eyes, and uh, he's just staring at your mechanical arm. And he does that the whole night. And I tell him that's not what I meant. Uh, You can try. Roll me a charisma check. That's your spell cast. Yeah. Okay. Uh, He looks back at you, so you you see yourself Mm -hmm. and then he stares at your normal arm I will explain better in the morning (laughs) alright how are you guys feeling do we want I'm I'm trying to think how to phrase this. This feels like such a a good place to end, but I have more that we can do. I just don't know if it's going to end as well. Hey, it's up to you guys. Hey, you I think Marissa? we call it here because I think we could probably do some RP for tomorrow and stuff. Mm-hmm. Essentially. Mm-hmm. This also gives Marissa a bit of time to you know. Oh, not bad. bitch. Oh, well. As okay. she so claims herself to be. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> I'm sure you don't. You are harsh to yourself when you have to go to bed. This is maybe accurate. Maybe. Yeah. It does. Is it just me? Does it feel like we went a long time? Because it feels like we went. Yeah, a long time. it feels like it. Yeah. It's been two and a half hours. It feels like it's been longer. Like, I yeah, looked at the like clock. These last two like, times, it's been like, yeah, we went through a full session, right? Like, what? <laughs> yeah, and it's like, no, there's like, you know, I mean, it'd be like about half an hour at this point more mm-hmm. that we would play, but it feels like a very good time to end it. That's fine. Does, does, is this like Iris's reiteration of uh, the fantasy equivalent of Goodnight Moon? She loves it. Fuck yeah. She thinks it's very, very sweet of you. That's great, because tomorrow we're doing Go the Fuck to Sleep by fucking what's his She She does remind you that she does not sleep. It was oh. I was going for the comedic effect, but and okay. she doesn't have a bedtime. <laughs> uh, 
at all? <laughs> no, she just, she wants to make sure. She's like, I don't want to get your expectations up. No, I understand that. I also brought her some of Nadine's birthday cake or whatever, even though she doesn't eat. It's a thought she that has. She can eat. It's just not the same. Uh, she can taste it. It just will never... It doesn't give her that scent, like filling sense. Does mm. that make sense? Yeah. It's like... She can taste it. But it's almost kind of unsatisfying. Oh. Maybe Not I don't like in a bad head. way. Like, like I said, it, she doesn't get full from it. So it leaves out a very strange part of the eating process. I uh, But yeah, no, she, she seems really grateful when you come back and read to her. Uh, At this point, uh, when when you do come back to read a tour, you see Maurice in one of the pews with like his hands in his head, as he just seems oh. to be thinking. Uh, when you when you go towards the door, he he kind he like looks at you for a second, and he seems to kind of know that you know, yeah. and he just kind of gives you a nod. And sighs as he gets up and uh, he heads down the hall. Man, now I regret asking a question because we could have ended it on like a really happy note. And now it's kind of like really ominous and sad. So that's my bad. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I mean, you guys did have, you know, a cool ass party. Uh, Real wakes up the next day with a pretty good hangover yeah. in the courtyard uh -huh. with a bunch of pirates. Yep. <laughs> uh, the the pirates are real nice and stuff. They uh, when you wake up, they actually had like uh, they kind of it seems like at least somebody at some point during the night. Uh, had brought out like made, like some blankets probably from like one of the taverns and like some not great pillows but something and put them under people's heads uh huh uh, nice. you kind just like concrete yeah uh you assume that it's probably the uh the uh first mate uh the one who, I don't think you would have known this, but the no. one that came and kind of accosted uh, Nadinia, trying mm -hmm. to get her to break up with Jack. Mm -hmm. uh, but she seems very caring about her crew and even helps out just like the random people that, you know, were partying with them. She Thanks. doesn't seem like a bad person. She seems like a overworked, tired mom. Yeah. Yeah. Pirate mom. Pirate mom. Yeah. Pirate see aside. I think uh, Maple, if she can, gets another drink from the tavern or one of them. Yeah. Even if she has to pay for it, she will. Yeah, you you will have to pay for it at this point, but yeah. it's not. Oh no. Um, yeah. and she'll just kind Actually, of. Actually, no, you don't. You're fucking one of the star called. No, you don't. No, I don't. Just kidding. <laughs> um, she'll. Drink that slowly to like edge off the hangover. <laughs> you get like a Bloody Mary. Uh huh. And then she'll make her way back up to the temple. Mm -hmm. Um. I can do that in RP. It's fine. Yeah. But yeah, I hope you guys had a lot of fun. Did. Uh Loved it. <laughs> I hope that was an acceptable date, Chris. Uh, no, it was uh, the worst date ever. Ah, uh, dang. All right, I guess I'll have to kill Jack off. Fuck. He didn't. I have air line standards, so. I I have so many ways I can kill him off. It's not that hard. Don't worry. I keep about trying. That. You keep trying. Okay. Throwing him off of things. 
throwing him off of things. You keep making him do dangerous stuff. Making him? Yeah. That's a fun. Your fault. Yeah. Uh, but anyway, Marissa, go to bed. Ooh. Take advantage, go to bed. See you on Saturday, friend. Yes. Hope you're ready for escape room. Oh, Ooh, fine. Never yeah. I was born ready. We're doing the uh, the like museum heist escape Ooh, room. Hell yeah! It's really cool. They have like all the stuff under like the glass containers. I love a good heist. I'm mm -hmm. pumped. But. Uh, thank you guys. This was really fun. I love you all. Bye. 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 Thanks for playing with us.